my mom succeeded in raising six kids by herself. She didn't succeed at it. Look at all of you guys. You're all failures. We're all wasn't failures. Wasn't Roy just the other day drunk in a ditch? That's Roy. That's not, I don't know if he was drunk in a ditch or not. Who the fuck knows? But you're all, you're all poor people. So, I mean, if she raised you and you became, like, a senator, and, you know, she, you know, if her kids were all doctors... And yeah, I would say she's pretty successful, but she she raised you. So and Paul and Roy, I mean, you're on lifetime probation. Paul's a child molester, and Roy's drunk all the time. Well, my life would have would have been different had things been different for me in certain aspects. Yeah, but you're always I, complaining I, about your childhood. Clearly, your mom didn't do anything correctly because all of you turned out fucked. No, we, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Casey, where is your thinking at? I just, I just told you where it was at. Holy shit, you, you're calling my mom no good because she didn't raise good kids? You're the one who has to re-parent kids. yourself. She did raise good kids. With some you have to had re-parent to yourself, Lauren. She didn't do a good job. I had to re-parent myself in certain ways. Yeah. I don't have to reparent myself because I was raised by a good parent. Uh, I mean, look at you. That? You're a sex offender on lifetime probation. Your mother failed you. Are you sure that you don't have to reparent yourself, Casey? Yeah. Because you, get, you have the thought in your head that just because a person has no money that they're no good. Yeah. So what does that have to do with reparenting myself? So it sounds to me like you need to reparent yourself with that. Okay. That's, that's really dumb. I mean, how? Well, because you think that if a person doesn't have money, that they're no good. That money, yeah. you think that, that money makes a person a good person. Yeah, that's my opinion. How does that mean I need to repair it myself? Okay, you see most of the people in Congress? Most of those people have money. Most of them people are, are ripping people off, cheating people, lying to people, lying to the whole country, stealing money. But they are good people because they have money. My parents have money and they're great people. Yeah, I would say those are pretty good people. Greed is the worst thing in the world. You know that, right? No, I don't think so. I think trying to rape a child is the worst thing in the world. Well, that, that's part of greed. How are you not greedy? That's being selfish. Yeah, you're very greedy. I, I was at the time. I was. I was. I was greedy and not thinking about anything, anyone else, including myself. Yeah. But see, I admit it. Uh huh. And I don't have a problem admitting because I was wrong. Mhm. Greed with money is not as bad as what I did, but it's it's probably next because You're greed just with money. Bad with money. More and you were thinking, money? you were only thinking of yourself, Lauren. Exactly. I already said that. Thank you. Greed with money makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do. Well, you didn't just say that, and you don't... Just to get more money. So how does that make a person a good person? Well, you said you weren't even thinking of, of yourself. You were thinking well, about yourself. You were only thinking of yourself. Yeah, I was I was only thinking of myself at the time, but I wasn't thinking about myself with the consequences that was going on, and wasn't even thinking about I wasn't thinking about anything. I I was thoughtless. Well, because you didn't think you'd get caught. You mean? I didn't even think. I weren't thinking. Yeah, because you, you I mean you were planning it at all. Okay, why are you stuck on this? You you're the one who mentioned being greedy, and I pointed out that you were greedy. Yeah. And I admitted to it. I didn't hide from it. So does that make you a bad person? But, but Even by your own, on. like, logic? It, it, it makes me a bad person because I was greedy. Yeah. Well, and because you're poor. All right. Cause, oh, because I'm poor? Yeah, both of those things. Casey, how can you think that because a person is poor that they're not a good person. 
Okay, get a pen and paper out so I can tell you, and that way you don't have to ask uh, like a hundred more just times. Just tell me because I'm, you know, I'm trying to see where you, where you find the sense in that. Okay, if a person has no money, they are a failure. That means they didn't accomplish anything. It means they have nothing, and they're worthless people. Okay, they are so literally worthless. They're, their net worth is zero. They are worth nothing. They don't have money. They they suck money from the government. You know, they go in government programs like unemployment. They get food stamps. They're greedy people. They're cockroaches. They're homeless. So they, the homeless people are driving down all the property values, especially out here in L.A. These fucking homeless people sitting there asking for a coin. So oh, give me... Give me some change, please. You had enough money for a fucking Sharpie and for a cardboard box. So, Why didn't you use that money to, you know, get yourself a nice haircut and go apply for a job? You dumb broke bitch. That's usually what I tell them. Why would you tell them that? Because it's the truth and they need to hear it. They need to not be coddled. Okay, but you don't know what they've gone through. You don't know how um, they got I know there. what they're going through. They're, they're homeless and they're just, they're an eyesore. It, it might be an eyesore, but you don't know what they went through that made them be there. I mean, whatever they went through doesn't really matter, Lauren, because they did it to themselves. Everybody goes through stuff. You don't and know. That, that person, person could have been a millionaire before. And he's a failure now. So, because he lost his money, it makes him a loser? Yeah, it means they suck at money, and now they're mooching off the government like a bunch of little bitches. That's exactly what it means. It means you were a great, successful person. You lost all your money. You're a failure. You have nothing. Okay. So what happens if you lose your money? Is that going to make you a failure? Yes. How does that make you a failure? You didn't fail when you were when you had money. I'm not, I'm not going to, that's the thing, I'm not going to lose my money. But if I did, that means I'm a failure, and I failed, and I'm worthless. How do you know you're not going to lose your money? I know I'm not. Know I, because I I'm not a job, and I'm successful, and I'm not a failure. I'm okay, smart with my myself, money. I told myself a long time ago that I would, I would never get caught up in a sting or anything like that. And look what happened. I wound up getting yeah, caught up in a sting. Yeah, but you did because you're a failure. Do you see what I mean now? That was something that I could never see happening in my lifetime. Well, Lauren, when you try to rape multiple girls on the internet, it's bound to happen to you. Just because the person doesn't have money, you see. It was inevitable for you. You talked to so many underage children. You were going to get caught one way or another. It happens to everyone. You're stuck on that again. I mean, you you told yourself you wouldn't get caught up in a sting? Yeah, because I told myself I'd never go to any house like that. I would never go there. I would, I would never meet anybody underage from anywhere. Yeah, but you, you, never, just, you, never you do see, that. the thing is, I'm smart enough not to do that. But anyway, you're stuck on that again. Well, because you said it, like, what about Molly? You didn't think you were going to get in trouble with that? You were, you were bound to. You're stuck on that. Holy shit, you're stuck on that, Casey. Why do you keep getting stuck on, on my problem? You don't have brought that up. Do you ever get stuck on your own problem? I don't have a problem. You have a problem with your thinking. You have a problem with your thinking. You're the one who wants to bone 17-year-old girls. My problem is, is nothing. I don't have a problem. And that's you telling me that what I want to do again. Yeah, and you're telling me what I want to do and how I want to think or how I should think. So you really think that you're right in, in saying that people are no good with money if they don't have money? Yes. Okay, so I don't have money. Does that make me, make me no good? Yeah. So what do you see in me? Nothing. Nothing? So this is all just a game for you? What's a game? What you and I have had 
it's all been a game. Are you serious? What? What? Are, we don't have anything right now, Lauren. And I mean, well, you we even said yourself you need to get money to get out here and all that stuff. You. What you we need. Before, Kate, what, we, what we had before was that a game? No. Okay. Then what did you see in me before? Because I didn't have money there. When? Huh? When I saw what in you before? Roscoe, don't touch. What'd you say? What do you mean? What we had? Before? We haven't had anything. You've never even met yet. We haven't had anything. I, you've obviously had something for me. Otherwise, you wouldn't have spent all the time with me. Or you wouldn't have tried to get to know me. Is either you had something for me or you were playing a game. So which was it, which one is it? Well, not everything is that black and white, Lauren. Well, it, it, what was it then? I don't know. It's something. Yeah. Okay, so I can't define it. I was, I'm just getting to know you. But I'm, I'm saying absolutely you, you need to be successful. If you want to be successful... You're happy was, just being, you're happy being like a, a loser? But you want to be great? I want to be great. Doesn't mean I'm always going to be. No, you need head. money to be great. There's, no, you do not need money to be great. You don't need money to be successful. You, yes, you do. Money. Money, money's how you determine whether or not you are successful. I've, I've gone up and down in my life like three times where I've had money, then I didn't have money. I had money, then I didn't have money. I had money, and now I'm getting money again. But okay. every time that I was down, every time that I was that I was down and didn't have money, it didn't it didn't make me unhappy. It didn't yes, take it money did. to make me happy. No, it didn't. You need money to be happy. I knew, um, the, and uh, see how you even described it as being down. You think when I was down and had no money, you see, you, no one's ever down and yeah, had money. When I was money. down, when I was when I was down in a low spot and had no money, yeah, I got myself out of it. It didn't mean it didn't make me not a good person. It made me it so it that did I didn't not. have money. I couldn't buy I couldn't buy material things. You weren't good at being a person. You had to take money from the government or your mother or, you know, your family had to give you a place to live for free. That, okay, that's just, uh, that is not being a this. good person. That's being a, a, that's being a bad person. If every person in the United States had a lot of money, mm -hmm. nobody would want to be helping anybody else. Well, you wouldn't need to because everybody has money. Who are you going to hire? Everybody you don't already need to has hire money. Anyone if everyone has money. Everybody already has money. Nobody needs to work. Where are you going to yeah. buy groceries? Where are you going to buy groceries? Where are you going to buy gas? Yes. On your own, probably. If everybody has money. Everybody has money, so ain't nobody going to want to work. Yeah, but you have to work for money. Well, no, everybody's already got it. The government just gave everybody $5 million each. Everybody in the United States. So yeah, and nobody then you has, would, nobody has to work. Yeah, well, you'd have to work to keep getting money. No. What are you talking about? Why would you have to? You could retire. Retire to, to what? Retire. You got $5 million. What do you want to work for? Just retire. Well, until the money runs out. Well, how, how's the money going to run out? You ain't paying anybody. Nobody wants to work. This is a really weird argument. I don't even know what you're trying to prove. Well, yeah, you got to have electricity, too, though. But where's that going to come from? Because everybody's got $5 million, so they don't need to pay the electric bill because nobody's working at the electric plant. Okay. Because they already have $5 million, so they retired. Okay. Okay. So what so does you do to have... What's your point? You I'm confused. Well, why is, how does money make you a good person? 
Because you have it. You have it, but everybody else has it too. So everybody in the United States must be a good person. Yeah. Okay, so so nobody in the United States is a bad person anymore because they all have $5 million. Yeah. Okay, so what good is that going to do you if you can't go to a convenience store and buy something because nobody works there because they retired with the $5 million that they have? I don't know what, what good it would do for a person, but that doesn't make them a bad person. Okay. It means they're a good person. They have money. They have money, but they don't have a life. You just said you can retire and never work again. I would say that means you have a life. Yeah, but what are you going to buy with it? Nobody's selling anything. Everybody retired with the $5 million that the government gave them. Well, you bought everything you wanted. Everybody has it. How do they have it? It's not there anymore. Well, the thing about this, Lauren, is I don't see what this has to do with being a good person. Well, because everybody has money, so everybody in the United States must be a good person. Th yeah. Okay, now think back to, to reality. And not everybody has money. So the ones that do have money can go out and buy the things that they need. And buy the things that they want. Yeah. At a convenience store, at a, at a car dealership, at wherever. The reason that yeah. they can buy that stuff, the reason they can buy that stuff is because somebody's working to make that stuff. Yeah. And they're bringing home a small paycheck in order for those that have money to be able to purchase that small stuff that they're making. Uh-huh. That these poor people are making. Yeah. So if there weren't poor people, there would be no rich people. Well, you got to thank the rich people for providing the job. The rich person wow. gave that poor person the opportunity to not be such a piece of shit. Okay, so the rich people don't have to thank the poor people for doing the job? The rich people already thought that's why they're smart and have money. The poor people who, who planned poorly and are, you know, not good at managing their money and are stupid, they have to work those jobs for the smart rich person and then thank them for writing them a paycheck. Okay, so you got... Let's try this example. You have a millionaire uh -huh. over here, and okay. you have a poor person over here. Okay. There's an elderly lady that needs some help across the street because she doesn't have her, doesn't have her cane or her walker. Is there a curtain rod in the room? No. The, okay. the, it's not a room. She's going across the street. The poor person, the, the, poor, the, the rich person turns his head the other way and, and walks away. But the poor person goes over and, over and helps the elderly lady across the street. Okay. Which one's the, which one's the good person? The guy with the money. Why? I didn't see him helping out the elderly lady. No, but he's smart and has money. So that makes him good because he's smart and has money. But meanwhile, if it weren't for this poor person, that elderly lady couldn't get across the street safely. Okay. So of the two, which do you consider the good person? The guy with the money. Why? He's good at being a person because he's successful. But he, he's successful at making money, but he's not successful at helping Money help is how you determine your work. The poor person could be helping every old lady across the street, but they're not a good person. Because they don't have money and they're failures and they're not successful. Being a good person is not based on money. Well, that's, that's your opinion. How can it not be your opinion? You're, you're, you're actually a smart because woman. To me, what makes you a good person is being successful and having money. To you, it's helping your neighbor take the garbage out or... Helping an old lady cross the road because that happens all the time, um, and stuff like that. You, we have two different definitions, I think. Well, I, I think we do. 
I think that's obvious. <laughs> You know, because I, I think I think if you're poor, you're dumb, and if you have money, you're smart. Okay, so what do you see in me? Because I don't have money. I see a guy who's poor. I see a poor guy. Okay, well, what attraction do you have to me? Because I don't have money. I don't have like an attraction to you. Then what is it? What's what? What is the what is that you have for me, Casey? I don't I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you mean. Okay. So we're talking about being a couple. What would make you talk about being a couple? Because I don't have money. When was I talking about that? Okay, so we talked about it before. Don't play stupid on this one. Mm, let me think. Well, see, let, let me put it for you this way. In order to come out here and be with me, you're going to need money, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're in Cornville and you have no money. I don't want to be with you in Cornville in, in the trailer and stuff. You know what I mean? But if you had yeah. money... And was able to take care of yourself and look after yourself and had a, had a house in California, that means you have money, therefore you're a good person. Therefore, I would see something in you. Okay. So like, I, I guess what your, the answer to your question would be, right now I see someone who is like a project, or someone who says he can do the things that I want. I'm I'm a project. Yeah, you're like you're like um you know like you're trying to get to be the person I want you to be. Well, I'm trying to be the person that I want me to be. And don't you want to be someone with money in California? Oh, I'd like to have money, but uh, it's not going to kill go. me if I don't. It's not going to kill there me if go. I don't. It's not going to kill me if I don't. Okay. Cool. That's great that you can live with no money. Uh, uh, how am I a project? Um, how are you not a project, Lauren? You're on probation. You're poor. You, you, you know, do you really want me to go through it all? It's just gonna... For you, I want you to explain that to me. How am I a project? All right, you don't get mad at me then. You're in therapy, you're a registered sex offender, your teeth are really bad, you're kind of uh, like out of shape and, and not really like conventionally attractive, you're bald, you live in a trailer in the middle of nowhere. You work like a horrible, awful job. You're a chain smoker. Um, you're you always look so filthy. You don't have like nice clothes. You you don't really have any sort of like value as far as like any. You don't have value. You you take money from your elderly mother to buy you like a cell phone. There's times where you need to get cash advances from your boss to, like, purchase things like cigarettes and groceries. Um, you've been on unemployment. You get laid off constantly. Um, I mean, I can keep going. Okay, if you, want you have to. no higher education. You have no education at all. You owe nothing. You'll never be able to retire because you're, you're all your the debt you have. You'll never be able to pay off your loans. You're like twenty five k in debt. You have no like career. You just work trucking jobs. So how am I, how am I a project to you? Was I on mute the whole time? Huh. Did you hear anything I just said, or was I on mute or something? Oh, no. I, I heard everything you said. 
Yeah, that's how you're a project. See, and there's another one. You're just you can't. You don't really. You can't comprehend things. Casey, how am I a project to you? Whoa, dude! I I literally just explained in all the ways that you're a project. All, all the shit. I don't I heard even know. I heard. I don't know what you're said. trying to get me to say because I just gave you the answer. On the I ways you're a project. I heard everything you just said. Yeah. So how does that make me a project for you? It makes you a project in order to... You need fixing up. <laughs> I, need, I need fixing up. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, I didn't say for me. I said, you know, to, to be what... I want in a person. I just said at all. So, so like you in try general, to fix not make a project for me. I'm not going to work on projects. That's what you said, though. Was I'm a project? Yeah. So the way I took it was, I was a project for you. Okay. Well, then you misunderstood. Okay. I was quite offended by that. <laughs> you're you're a project uh, for yourself. Uh, you're a project for anyone who wants to be with you, or would consider being with you. Besides, maybe like a trash bag. Oh, so you wouldn't consider being with me, huh? Well, not in the current state that you're in, and I've, I've told you that. So what was before? Before what? Seat? You knew the state that I was in before, and you still didn't go anywhere. And as a matter of fact, you came back to me after after realizing that Jamie was a fake. Okay, well, remember this, because I've told you this plenty of times. I didn't come back to you. Oh, I, so I, I came you? to tell you the truth. Okay. I, came to tell, I came to tell you the truth. Okay, you came I didn't to tell come me the back truth. to you with the idea of being in a relationship with you. I've told you that plenty of times. But what happened? About what happened when? What happened? Even though you didn't come back to be in a relationship with me, what happened? Nothing happened. We were starting, we were starting up a relationship, weren't we? No, we're not in it. I told you we're not in a relationship. Oh, God. Well, Lauren, I, I told you that. Did you just... I don't understand how you... Like even what was, Alex, what was Alex Jones? Was he was he a relationship? No. What exactly was he? He was my friend. I'm lost at how you think that a person is no good if they don't have money. I, I can't believe you think that way. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you get off the phone so you can go enjoy your birthday. All right. All right. Bye.